Well, taking the match, um, Athletic Bilbao against Deportivo La Coruña uh, was a very particular match because there were years without uh, a win uh, away uh, for Deportivo. A difficult season. Um, we had our first win uh, after eight matches uh, against um, Malaga at home the week before. So um, now we wanted to push and, 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 and have that uh, uh, continuity uh, in terms of results. Um, going to Bilbao is always tough. Uh, the environment, uh, the identity of, of this team has always been uh, a factor. Um, a psychological factor. When I played with Real Madrid there as a player, it, it, we always knew that we, we would go back home with something, maybe some bones broken. It was like a, a war uh, zone. Bilbao, uh, who was playing with um, uh, their quite um, consolidated 4-2 four, four or 4-2-3-1, four, if you want, four defenders here, the two midfielders, Garcia, their main player, and then Williams, a very fast young striker. And then on the sides there, uh, you know, uh, other players were Sousa Huerta and Cordoba. Bilbao uh, is, a, is a team that, that played quite direct football. So um, the player in front of our defense with Mosquera uh, had, had an important role to make sure he would double um, in case of long balls, especially when Garcia would go up to make sure we have coverage for the ball that eventually falls behind our defense. Um, uh, with, with the ball, which, which actually was mm, very important for, for me uh, to express to the team, is to kill a little bit the enthusiasm by uh, having a good ball possession. And therefore, we, we asked our Ruben Martinez to uh, start the build up from the back as much as possible, as fast as possible. Uh, we had in the middle um, two players that also were quite good passes, Shar and, um, and Albentosa. On the right with Juan Fran, who I'll come back to it because he had a very important role in this match, and uh, Luisinho on the left. Um, these players needed to uh, have the uh, personality to break the spirit of the pressure that, that we were expecting from Bilbao. Uh, and I have to say they did it quite well in that match. Um, Mosquera had the quality to, to be the spider in the web in that, in that first phase of the field, um, because I like to, to divide for phase one, phase two and phase three, zone one, two and three, where all players know more or less uh, where we need to defend or where we need to make pressure. Um, then. The midfielders, uh, we had Borges and Michael Condali, uh, who also had a very fundamental um, uh, uh, task in the game. Michael more as a playmaker and Borges more as a player who would be the surprising factor getting into the box of the adversary. And this is actually how we scored uh, our second goal, if I'm uh, correct. Um, and we wanted to use a lot uh, Juan Fran to push on the side. This guy could run for 90 minutes uh, going up and down on the sides. Having um, Cholak, who would play behind the, the striker, Cholak, our Turkish guy, who also would create then the triangle with Juan Fran and Michael Condeli. I ask our strikers to stay as much as possible in the middle, but eventually, you know, go and help um, if needed uh, on the sides as well. But we wanted to occupy our, the box of the adversary with our two strikers. Um, we created quite some opportunities to put the ball in the box with the surprise factor. Because Bilbao liked to double, even if in the box, they uh, got quite some goals against in that season. Um, so this was actually the situation that I wanted to create, where the right back would be occupying himself with helping the other defenders and then having Borges coming in as a surprise factor. One of our goals, I think the second one, we created the overlap, which uh, is something I really like to see. And then um, uh, Perez, I think, came, came, came back with the ball, put it in 
second post. The ball was put in with a header, and then we had uh, Adrian who uh, who scored the goal, the second goal. This was, mm, you know, we say you plan things. It's not about planning things. You cannot plan these things out, but you can create uh, the conditions for the play. Ask them to do what their qualities are, and, and his quality was definitely to come in the box a lot of times. Uh, we could have used him more in this match. Um, to use the quality of Juan Fran to come up and to give um, Crondelli the possibility to, to get more balls on his feet and, and, and to use his qualities as well in terms of passing. Um, Cholak, give him the freedom to move around, to move around in between the lines and, and to create problems for the adversary. And to be very aggressive. Um, because the moment we were talking about the situation here, my defenders had to be very high. So uh, this, this gave us the possibility to be very aggressive when we lost the ball eventually in the last zone of the field. Um, and this has given us the 1-0 uh, you know, and the 2-0 in the first half. I said the first 20 minutes, they're going to come for us but we need to go for them. And, and that was you know, very well uh, uh, implemented by the team. The spirit was there. Uh, second half, uh, the guy who scored it twice, Adrian, um, had a big ankle um, in, in, in the dressing room and we had to sub him for Borja. Other thing that I always like to do is to prepare my substitutions, mainly up front. I like for my supposition to come in and to continue to give the spirit to the team to attack and to score goals, um, which is the best way to defend in my in my uh, philosophy, uh, rather than adapt and to sit back and then you know leave the ball in the hands of the adversary by calling them to your goal. Uh, I did did one thing uh, second half is that we um, instead of playing with the diamonds, uh, we started playing. Um, to defend better and also have the possibility to counter-attack. Uh, I pushed on the sides um, Krondeli and uh, uh, I think it was uh, Perez that I put on the other side. Uh, so we had practically the same system as, as uh, Bilbao was playing and um, we could more easily uh, defend their pressure because they were pressing a lot second half um, and we were a little bit more solid. And then we scored 3-1 uh, which was uh, the pressure from Borja who came in by the way for Adrian. Pressure in transition from attack to defense and then we, we uh, played vertical after that we um, uh, got the ball back. I think it was Perez who ended up being in, in this position more or less. Uh, we got the ball back in this area and when Borja pressured the guy in the midfield, I think it was Borges who gave the ball. Overlap was coming, but the same Borja came in the box with the ball played on the first post and he scored the 3-1, which was very important at that point of the match because we had, we had a lot of pressure from Bilbao. Um, and then um, uh, that was the game and then they scored another goal, which actually was a free kick for us. But um, yeah, this was more or less the tactics that uh, were implemented in this match and that gave us the second victory in a row. And from that moment, everything was back to normal. <laughs>